<laughs> a <Yeah>. real situation. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, dope up and down food. The date is Sunday, September 25th, and we're smoking, we're chilling. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Dylan J. Negri, that's Kevin Sanchez, and we got DC Williams today. We got an amazing guest, James. Oh, let me turn off my music. That's my bad, but everything else was pretty smooth. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, guys, we got an amazing guest. Let's get right into it. I want, I just want to get, I want, I want to start ripping off the band aid. Let's get right into it, guys. We got one of my favorite dudes. I call him the prophet, and so will you. Oh. Ooh, that rhyme. We got bars in here, <laughs> and so will you. All right, all right. Oh. Guys, this is James Goff, as seen on Ooh. Netflix, True TV's Laugh Mob, Gotham Comedy Live, and the Today Show. You can get him on Instagram at C, James Goff. That's C as in a C. Eight, and eight, also, eight. the creative space with both A's as eights. That's my guy, James Goff, the <laughs> prophet, the one and only. <laughs> the prophet, I like that, James Goff. That's good, man. Is your mic on? What, what up, man? How I'm, you feeling? I'm humbled by that. You feeling man. good? That, that's that's um. I'm you're using humbled. one. It's throwing me off. That's my least favorite mic. But you're fine. I got you now. For me? Okay, no. I like how Nat blamed it on you picking the <laughs> mic. Yeah, that was I wild. Mean, yeah, you saw where I sat. <laughs> <laughs> you saw where I sat. No one ever uses one. I know. Well, guess you, what? That's why the one is the that's one and only Kevin Sanchez. Yeah, Kevin, Poppy Kevin, Sh- who you I'm are. Poppy Shampoo, Young Bablito, the Dos Uno Dos Bandito. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know when I step in. the wrestling promo? <laughs> yeah, you already know. I see J- James once in my life. It was 10 minutes ago. Oh, uh, yeah. Right? Really? 10 minutes ago. You guys just met? We just met for the first time. He smiles like this guy's infectious. <laughs> yes. Is he? Okay. I was in a bad mood before I seen James. The oh, first God? I'm, I'm what? God, I swear to God. I'm oh, no. We're going to change that, I man. A, I'm the vibe. In, yeah, I can, I can, I can yeah. feel it. I can sense it. I want you know the first time I met James was uh, he was doing No Need, and this is right after the Will Smith uh, interview <laughs> came out, and I was real emotional about it. And we talked, but that's the problem. We were talked about, I, I think we talked for 40 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> About Will Smith and the dynamic of how he got what's your name fired, and I was like, I, I kind of judge Will Smith for that, and he and we got into it at the end. He just goes, "Well, you watch that that special, right? The documentary, so you have a personal touch to it." And the way that James broke it down, <laughs> I was like, "This dude's different." Yeah, this dude's honest, different. You want to? You look like one of the motherfuckers that got crystals at their house. You one of those yeah, black dudes yeah. with the crystals yeah. and yeah, yeah, and he's spiritual, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. plants, age, all that, plants, you got plants yeah, plants for days, money tree, yeah. yeah. Niggas leave your house, you start dusting sage and shit, yeah, get rid facts. of niggas' energy. And when we go on vacation, we in the woods. <laughs> oh, yeah, what? we don't. We in the woods. That's There's camping, nobody man. else. It's just trees and and like cabin life. Yeah. Oh damn. shit. What's last yeah. like big uh, big getaway you did? Let me ask you a question. Cause you from the South Bronx, right? Yes, sir. Yo, can you take your flash your flash off? Oh my bad. He was giving you a flashback, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, I hate giving the light. My best. <laughs> so you from the South Bronx? How do yes, you sir? get into like uh, uh, the cabin stuff and, and like being oh. in the wildlife and white women? And well, I'm 42. <laughs> <laughs> white women found me, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. as they um, do. Yo, yeah. Now, if you would have met me in high school, man, I was so militant. Like, Word? I get that vibe woman. from you, bro. I get five percenter yeah, vibes from you, bro. Super, yeah, I mean, I I five percenter vibes. Yeah, five. you know the vibe. Five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But now, nah, like, it's something that just over time, you know, the more I read, the more I, um, I started to understand things, um, I started to disconnect from shit that wasn't important to me mm. anymore. Yeah. Mm. So, like, when you, just like comedy, we all in comedy, yeah, right? Yeah. So, this is the perfect example. When we first start, we in open mics, right? Yeah, yeah. And that's just the energy we vibrate in. It's like you get connects to other open mics, to other yeah. open mics, and then that one time you get into a club... The open mic vibe don't feel the same it anymore. It starts feeling weird. Tell me you feel what I'm it saying? It starts feeling weird. So now you've just witnessed something at a higher vibration. That's where you want to be at. Everything else got to fall off. Gotcha. That doesn't match that. Yeah, you're just mm. going through that now. Because because like this past year, he called me the other day. And he goes, yo, Dylan, someone put me on a show. And they didn't even tell me about it. Yeah, just, I'm getting booked on shows and don't even know. Oh, That's good. And he goes, I walk up to this. It's a blessing because, you know, we, it's a struggle in the beginning. You know, you're like, how come I'm not getting sh-? And the truth is you're not good. The truth is I wasn't good. The truth is I wasn't good enough. That's true. Right? To be getting booked as much as I wanted. Right? No, well, I wasn't I, doing something right. You see, I don't, I don't think in that construct anymore. I, I'm more like what I'm supposed to get is what I'm supposed to get at, at, at what I'm vibrating at. Right. Or, or, right, right. or just where I'm... Um, just where I'm at 
and then as I as you get stronger, of course, you're going to get more things. Mm -hmm. But I don't like to put. I'm very careful about what I say to myself mm. because yeah. your brain doesn't understand. I'm just learning that. Yeah, the I'm brain. Really, I, got, yeah. I have to get better will, at it. Just yeah, yeah, like. Yeah. I will curse myself. All right, so, out, all right, we we about, like, to, I we about saying, to have one. Let I me. I gotta I drop this because I don't want to forget. Go ahead, this. Go ahead, go ahead, I don't want to forget this. What we don't realize, right? Our brain has never left our fucking head, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So everything that it knows is just based off of what we've experienced. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Another thing we don't know is that out of our five senses, the brain only uses like two percent of that shit. It mm -hmm. guesses everything else. Mm -hmm. So we're walking around life just operating off of past experiences and then bringing that shit into the future. Mm -hmm. Like, that's where mentally everybody's at. They're in a, a constant time loop. Yeah. So so when you say certain shit to yourself, your brain goes, all right, so I'm going to match more thoughts that's like that. Yeah. And then next thing you know, like we discussed earlier, you in the tailspin mm -hmm. of just, oh, self-doubt, yeah. I can't do shit, your behavior I can't get follows this. Through with that, with all and the then wherever things. your mind is at, your mm -hmm. body follows. Yeah, yeah. For and then sure. that's how it is. So I'm very careful about what I say to myself. Like if I get disappointed in myself about something, I go, all right, I know I messed up here. I see the lesson that I mm -hmm. that yeah. I learned from this. I don't want this to happen again. So I'm thankful for learning this. And then the next show, I'm going to get them. Or mm -hmm. I'm going to do this different. And do you think that's like a form of, um, I believe that's like a form of um, man manifestation. It's like I feel like manifesting is something where people always believe it's like, all right, well, I'm going to say what I want, say what I want a thousand times. But it's really just... Saying it to yourself and understanding, okay, I'm gonna work hard to get that. But when it when it, like when it when it deserves to come, when it's time for that to happen, when it's time to get past the club, that's gonna happen. I don't ever put myself like I don't ever put myself down for not I forgetting the um the things that I want in my life as fast as I want to get them. Like I'll get pissed about yeah. it, but I always have to remind myself like, hey, it's hard not to tear yourself apart. Like it's uh, uh, if, especially if you feel like you've been at something and you're like, there's a lot of there's a whole lot of downs. There's some ups, but there's, you feel like there's a lot more like down. You know what I'm saying? Like on the journey or whatever you want to call it. But I agree with the, like, saying all that shit to yourself is because you got to get your brain to start believing it, so your body can follow through. Like you said, if it's you yeah, say negative it, shit, it affects your body. In a negative it's a double edged sword though, because here it is. Like you could say it. Yeah, but if you don't believe it in your heart, it won't. It has to. That, you, it, it has to be. Um, it has to be. Breed it has results. to be balanced. Yeah. yeah. So if there's no, if there's not an equal value matching up, mm -hmm. then nothing happens. Only only what is previous happens. You dig mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Right, right. So if in your head you're saying, "Yo, I wanna I wanna get in the club. I'm gonna do this, and I wanna be famous, and I'm da 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 da." Whatever your your hopes and dreams is, right? That could create. But in your heart, like you like. But I don't know if I can. I don't. I want it, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think mm -hmm. that the, the way the universe. The universe is like a genie. Mm -hmm. It's like if you're not very specific about what you want, it's going to give you what you don't want, or it's going to make some shit up, and you're yeah. going to be like, "What mm -hmm. the fuck? This is not what I want." I want to get past the club. Very I want to get past the club. But you fuck, don't is really this LOL. It. Anything. No! Yeah. Boom. Yeah. You have to like. Yeah. Like I tell my kids, right? They're 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 eight and ten, and I tell them everything. I tell them every day, thought plus faith equals create. And mm -hmm. what that means is, whatever you think and you fully believe, like with with oh, all your heart, yeah, is going to happen. There's no, there's no other way but for it to happen. Say that again. Thought versus thought, thought plus, plus faith, faith equals create. Mm -hmm. yeah. Faith. Mm. Gotta have faith. You, you, you have, have to, bro, faith, because a lot of this shit, it's like working out. You're not always going to see. The um the changes a lot yeah. of the changes is under the hood, when and then when it comes out in the in the in the physical for everybody else to see there was mad work that happened to get to mm -hmm. that point. So Pretty tell me something like when did like so I'm 23. Yeah, yeah. When in your life did this really start becoming like practice every day? Because two years if, ago, I, I mean, if you want to go to wow. James's Instagram, like Just this man know. will read a book and post about like what he's doing to that book. And what I mean is highlighters were made for this dude. Mm -hmm. Highlighters were invented because of this. <laughs> yeah. the dude who invented I highlighters. You don't just read and just no. Nah. Because of this, the way my yeah. brain he like, uses every color. Yeah. <laughs> How long does it take you to get through a book? It depends on a book because I have like the books that I'm reading are not the type of books that you just read through. Yeah. I need to read and then if something and is uh, and, and and able to really process it. And the reason why I highlight the way I highlight is because it, it helps me break down what I'm reading. It doesn't yeah. look just like mumbo yeah, jumbo to me. Mean, yeah. You know like those little like uh tabs that like come yeah. out of the book and you like mm -hmm. he has colored tabs and colored with the highlighter and it's yeah. for 
What kind of James books are you didn't reading? read a book for um, through. It's studying. It's it's right now. I'm reading this book called um, How to Be Supernatural by Joe Dispenza. Um, I just got finished reading Propaganda again by Edward Bernays. Sounds like a good book. Um, what about that first one you just met? How to be supernatural? How, like, what is how that? to be supernatural? Um, What's what is uh sorry to cut off, but like what is what do you think is one book? If someone's listening, someone that's like, all right, yo, I fuck with this philosophy and I want to get more into that. What's the one book where it's like, all right, here's your starter book? I wouldn't say one. I would say my top three. Yeah. I would say one um, is a book called Double Speak. I hear, I forget who, I think I want to say Robert Lowe or something like that. Double Speak? Double Speak. What is it about? Like Double Speak is about the real language of the country. Yeah. Okay. So we all think that we are speaking English and we're not. The whole shit is broken. Is we're basically lying to each other. I'm speaking American. For oh sure. no, we <laughs> talked about this outside. Yeah, of, we talked uh, about so one time. so like, the, the Department of Defense is really the Department of War. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm on the campaign trail, I'll tell you, yo, the Department, I want to get war, money for yeah. war. Department of War, you're gonna, gonna be like, anything. what the fuck? Boom, double, double speak. speak. This one? See, Ten dollars. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. The, That's a it, 1984 thing, double speak. Yes, yeah. right? yes. And even earlier, too, I've heard. But he goes into more detail and with the examples, yeah. and he shows how it's used in everyday life and school system, and, okay. and now everyday. You know, like I'm not a janitor; I'm a custodial engineer. That's yeah, double yeah. speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Every resume you see is double yeah. speak. Exactly. Every title they and give you at work is. Boom, <laughs> and we've all <laughs> been programmed and taught yeah, to basically yeah. lie like lie, that. Yeah. Except so no one is ever honest. That's why. Why social media is the way it is. That's Everybody why, has personality based ethics. Yeah, yeah. Because they don't yeah. believe in themselves, so they try to portray something that they're not yeah. instead of just being it. Or, mm. or, or everyone is trying to be on brand. Like no one's like a yeah, like but an that's actual still person. pretending just, to be something. That's what that I'm you're saying. Not. Like everything you believe in says like, is yeah. this on brand for me? Yeah. It's like, but what about just being a person? Fam, you know how many so. times I catch these people with their mask off? I can tell you oh, why people. certain why certain celebrities. And it doesn't mean COVID, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. I but like, I don't even wear masks. <laughs> there's a reason why certain celebrities keep getting attacked for old shit. Yeah, yeah. It's because you portrayed yourself as this individual. Yeah. And that's what we fell in love with. That's what got. That's what propelled you to where you're at. And then we caught you being who you really are. That's what I mean by your mask off. Yeah, yeah. Now we caught you in a situation where it show it doesn't match up. Mm-hmm. It's not equal. And when it's not equal, there's going to be blowback do because you think people are invested in you. Do you think it's okay that people aren't allowed to fuck up anymore? Like, really? Because everything is so documented. It's just like... Like, because I'm going to be honest with you. There's not really too much of a fuck I give about most people they cancel in terms of like... This person is moral, not morally sound, or they say, you know, I mean, everyone makes mistakes, everyone says shit. Like, you know, like people were talking about who said the N word, was it Roseanne or something like that? Yeah, somebody? yeah. And I just, I feel like the internet does this thing where it blasts it and tries to make people care about it, where I'm just like, I never really, it, whether she lot, said that. There's a lot more than the internet that's doing that. No, I'm, but it's the environment and time we're in now is just like, you can't make a mistake no matter how far back it Dude, was, I was, no matter uh, how, you know what I mean? I was scrolling movies last night, I was with someone who was trying to watch a movie. And um, when I tell you we're going through comedies, comedy section, scrolling. Yeah, yeah. There are some movies that have come out in the past five years. Mm-hmm. Woke. Agenda. They don't know what the <laughs> fuck to write, James. They're writing woke shit. James, James. You, you understand, like, they're writing certain scenes. I was watching, um, I don't want to call out shows, but I was watching uh, uh, Aquafina, Nora from Queens or whatever. <laughs> and it was just, uh, Aquafina's this Asian uh, rapper. I don't even know. Someone told me who she was. Asian rapper yeah. who's just like this American Asian she, girl. Uh-huh. And now she's just, she's like this 30-something that's playing a 20-something being weird in Queens. But, like, you watch the show and I'm like, yeah, I don't know what the fuck to write about. Y'all got the, you guys got the Asian girl. You got the Asian family. You got the, what you wanted you, to fill that slot. But you know central. they never really know what they want until it happens. Is like that's the secret. Yeah, like we all think we got to do know exactly a certain thing in order to get a certain result, yeah. and then that's how we're gonna make it. I don't that's how that everybody's anymore. operating. Instead mm. of just being who you are and selling that. Mm. That's because motherfuckers is afraid to be who they are, though. Fuck. Well, that's all yeah. now. So, but at some point, you gonna have a come to Jesus mm-hmm. or whatever religion you 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 fuck with. That's you know what I mean? on them. It's and like, when and when that happens, yep, you are gonna be like, you can't outrun this shit. Yeah, there's no way to outrun it. Like life is gonna happen the way it's supposed to happen. So if you're not 
being true to who you are, your body is going to reject you. Mm -hmm. And by the way, by the way, also, if you don't want to be true to who you are, that's okay too. <laughs> yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah. Make your money. That's your journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your journey yeah. could yeah. care less. <laughs> be who you are. You want to be fake true. for the next 10 years? That's all you. That's also <laughs> but you how can't you go block in and your out. blessings. That's also true. Like I always... I You're true, all, like, and you've been in enough conversations with me to know, like, mm -hmm. I don't gossip. Mm -hmm. So if I'm having a conversation and it's about an individual, for me, Never it anything. has to be based upon I'm learning something from mm -hmm. this situation. Never that we just shit talking just to be shit talking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If we shit talking just to be shit talking, then I'm going to shut my mouth and let y'all do what y'all do. Mm -hmm. But I always have to learn something from the situation. That's, that's how I'm on it. Yeah. So when it comes to other individuals outside of learning something... I don't care what nobody's doing. That's outside of my circle. Do I should talk just a shit talk? I just want people to win. I feel like sometimes mm. it's always be it's always because something's irked me in a way where I'm like, I don't like the way you do it. I don't like yeah, whether yeah. it's comedy. And that's one that's something that Derek. But that's taught me. still their journey. But that's what, something that Derek and Monroe both he taught me where they were like, care that's on right. them. He's yeah. Like, he's like, if they fuck with something that you love, comedy, movies, whatever, like if they fuck with comedy and they do some some Derek mook shit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm allowed to get mad because I genuinely fuck with this shit called comedy. And yeah. Monroe told me I, I, I felt bad. Let so me ask you this, though. To what end? You getting upset, right, mm -hmm. about some Joe Schmo who decided to do whatever the fuck he decided to do, right? Mm -hmm. You getting mad at this individual who decided to go that route only stops you creatively. It doesn't stop him. Mm. So every time you invest, like, this is why, like, you see how small my circle is. Yeah. You like yeah, I yeah. pop up it's like oh shit he alive. That's how <laughs> yeah. I am. So the people in my circle I fuck with. Like I care. Yeah. Like I really care. I'm, I don't pretend care. No, I and fucking I care. And you see that cuz So yeah. if you're not in my circle, I don't care what you're doing. I'm not investing taking energy, energy. away from me and my loved ones mm -hmm. to give a fuck about what you're doing. Go right. do you. Yeah. Bro, like, because we were having this conversation. We had uh, the No Need for Apology guys here, and they were saying some shit and I, uh, about how, like, you know, you can't allow things to happen when, in your in your genre, mm -hmm. right? Like, if you see somebody doing some whack shit, call it out. And the only way I would do it is if I feel like you endangered somebody or, like, you're endangering my vicinity, my circle, Yeah, right? Yeah. Personally, if you do some hack shit, I don't care. I don't care, bro. I don't care. The shit I'm talking about is so important. It don't matter what you're saying. It don't matter. Yeah. I don't care what nobody's saying because what I'm saying is different. Mm. What I'm saying is going to touch your soul. I can't wait till we have James on um, the Dope Dope Comedy Show. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, on God. People, like People go up there and their main goal is to be as funny as possible, right? I mean, that's always the goal. James goes up there and goes... I'm, I don't want to do your your joke, but it's you know what I'm saying. There's a there's a room. I'm flattered. Of uptight, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of uptight, not uptight, but uptight Brooklyn people. And James goes up there. They're a little weird that night. And just goes, he has, <laughs> he has one joke. He goes, y'all y'all ever think that um maybe maybe heaven ain't it? Maybe heaven ain't <laughs> he goes, what if the party's in hell? Yeah. He goes, what if there's a party in hell and we want to go? Yeah. I'm not gonna do this whole bit, but he that's the concept. Yeah. And he starts for three four minutes dissecting and you just watch what? this crowd go is he going there and james goes i'm not going there i'm there i'm yeah. i'm telling yeah. you some shit that i thought yeah. of yeah and this is real oh shit to me. i was listening to uh biggie's uh i think he was ready to die when he goes, which one which, which, uh, I don't, I don't, don't, don't want to go to I don't want to go to heaven with the goody goodies. Well, not that uh -huh. fuck it. I want to go yeah. to hell because I'm a piece of shit. It ain't hard, hard to fucking to tell, <laughs> bro. When I listen to that shit, I'm go like, to yo, with the goody goodies. I definitely I, I understand him. I can't. I'm like, I can, fuck, bro. Is this, I when I first heard this, I was like, is that real? Like, was, nah, was I lied is. to? And then I started thinking about the devil. Yeah, and I was like, wait, his his job, right? From, I'm Catholic. I grew up Catholic. Fam, you really want to talk about this? I do. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. Fuck it. I grew up, I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, if his job is to punish the bad people, uh -huh. then how could he be a bad, uh -huh. like a bad being? Uh -huh. You know, that's his job is to chill with the bad Supposedly. people. Supposedly. Supposedly. Yeah. Right? I know. I read some Egyptian books. Oh, a lot of these stories but, look I mean, similar. Jesus also um, sat and hung out with the worst of them, too, though, according to history. Yeah, he hung out with prostitutes, and he hung out with uh. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't hung think out is is, is is it's it's what do you call that word? It's for 
philandering like, to say that i wouldn't say hung out in a way i he but he definitely was in their presence communicating with them and holding court and all that stuff and what egyptian shit did you read we're not gonna just gloss over that <laughs> <laughs> what this is yeah, you guys are talking this about is... god and prophets and, and james right. goes why well, we all egyptian are shit. aware right that man started where in Egypt. ethiopia okay, yeah, yeah. yeah right so the original man was black and then mm-hmm. we all got spread apart etc cetera, etc cetera. If you go back and look at some of the 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 ancient like um gods and dentes and stuff like that, like um Osiris, um Thoth, who was the god of um creation of writing mm-hmm. and all all things magic, he's like one of the most powerful gods and people don't even know about him. Mm. Like this dude is responsible for um past, present, and future. Is this like a hotep hotep religion? No, nah, no, nah, this is just Egyptian, just Egyptian culture, like you, believe, yeah. you, some white person decided I wanted to learn, you know, do a whole book on this yeah. and this is what they came up yeah. with. And when you look at the, um, the stories, you can see the correlation between where they took bits and pieces of the Egyptian and then brought it to Christianity oh, and yeah, then yeah, flipped yeah. it and remixed it. Mm-hmm. Like... There is. This is the same thing with the Torah. And it's, the same thing it's, with, it's, it's all. It's all. The basis the of Quran, religion is yeah. pretty much James. Like what is though. your religion like currently? Like, do you have I, my, like, my you religion have one, is spirituality, man? Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm, smart I'm one with answer. everything. <laughs> no, I'm one with everything. I believe in a higher. I believe. I believe in a, a, a higher being that is responsible for all of this. Yeah. And I believe I've been sent here to fulfill a purpose. Like I'm not here just to make people laugh. Like, mm-hmm. that's not what I do. Mm-hmm. Like, I motivate creatives, and I make people believe that it's real. Mm-hmm. I save souls. Like, that's my mission. Yeah. I don't I'm know what everybody else fucking, is on. I'm not just here to shuck my, Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I try to do it that way. I try to shuck and jive. I, I, I try to, I had like, the I'm video game shirts on. Real, Every time I came in the yeah, room, yeah, I was yeah. in all the clubs yeah. smiling, like, hey, yeah. what's going yeah. on? And then when some shit went down, they yeah. all gave me the ass to kiss. Trying to be the nicest black trying dude. Trying to be the like, nicest dude, I'm black I'm super dude. nice, guys. They <laughs> all turn on you. Mm. They all turn on you. So now I'm doing it my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's working. Yeah. What's better, to build up a hero or watch him fall? It's it's. I've been watching so much. Like I mean, it's all that. Like, I watch a lot I mean, of Marvel what's shit. Watch him fall. No, I mean to some but people. But no, no, but Dude, to, I'm just, to the fan base, the the fun part is watching. Oh, I watched Full House with this person. Oh my God, they were such a successful. Oh, oh um, Colin, uh, Colin McCulkin and all that shit. Yeah, yeah. The fun part is watching him. Man, the, you see him now. The most entertaining it? part might be to watch him. Might might, might be to watch that Why person. So? Fall. To, the the general, public, to the general public. To the general public. To the general public. I think for fall for me, no. Uh, the most the satisfying thing would be. Me rising, then someone else. Uh, for, falling. For you, for you, but I will say this though, because I was watching uh, proving them wrong. That, but that's that perspective right there by the masses yeah. of of enjoying watching someone fall. I don't like that because that's right but, now. But Sorry. hold up, how could you ever expect to gain anything? How could you ever expect to win? Well, most people don't. You can't win hating. But most you James, can't. James, James, James most because don't. it reflects most back don't, to you. Mm-hmm. Most I feel you, don't but, they, but we got win. a mic and we got mad motherfuckers that's out there listening. Yeah. They need to hear this. Yeah, but also, I don't like to see motherfuckers fall. That shit, pa- that shit is painful. But that is where I we see, are in see society. society is like all and about can, watching. But if I can unless, learn unless it, from it, uh, I can. There's it is that. What it is. There's, that is true. Because their journey is their journey. But if I can learn something from their journey, I'll take it. I was. I'm not gonna lie to you though. There was this one movie I saw. It was, a, it was. It ended up being like a musical, and I didn't know it was gonna be a musical. What's this motherfucker's name? Not the um. I do the same shit with porn. You click, ever click on a video, and all of a sudden they got music the going. I'm like, ah, piano guy. Piano Come on, guy. I want to hear her moan. You yeah. shut up, but let her moan. This beat is kind of knocking. Shit, piano guy. What's the piano dude? What you, 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 oh no, no, no Elton Vegas, John. Vegas. Elton, Elton John. John. Yeah, Elton John. Yeah. Elton, thank God you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck with I saw, Elton John. I, I fuck with Elton John, right? But he, the first scene in his movie that he directed and wrote himself mm. or oh. like produced himself was him walking in his stage get up to a rehab center. Wow. Right? And I'm thinking this movie's about to be <laughs> nuts, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. Bro, it was the most boring 10 <laughs> minutes I was like, yeah, 10 minutes shit shit. Oh, I wanted to see him snuff coke of someone's butthole right yeah, before yeah. the stage. While singing wait, Rocky Rock. Yeah. Singing Rocky Rock. <laughs> like, that's watch. where it came from, right? right? But no, didn't happen. You right? dip 10 minutes and and you dip 10 minutes in and you're mad that you didn't see him snort coke? You had to wait till the end of the movie for that shit. Hey! 
Hey, you've been snorting coke for 25 years. You gotta watch There's him a grow ton of He does a lot of drugs later in the movie. Oh, uh, listen, it was kind of bo- like, yo, Nat's bro. obviously seen this, no, obviously wait, seen this yeah, movie yeah, yeah, and is yeah, going yeah. to bat no, for let me it. Say something. Let me no, say something. I don't you, love. Did you executive that, produce? Nat, to be Nat, Nat. fully honest, I didn't love the movie either, but, oh, wow. but oh. if you're like, oh, not because it was boring. Was wait, so you wait, 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 are you defending a movie you don't even like? That's crazy. Who directed it? He directed it too? Huh? He directed it. I don't even, he I'm like produced right it or now. something. It, but um, he, he you see he did have a. He and did you know what? A, you know what's crazy? Right. If he had stepped aside and let Hollywood take control, that pro- it probably would have been a good movie. That sounds let, weird. Hey, hey! If but, you would let the Weinstein brothers do it, it would have been good. <laughs> the reason why I'm saying that is because you see how he had so much input. And you're like. Oh, this is kind of boring. He just he told probably the very real version of this story, whereas Hollywood would have blown things out like Wolf of Wall Street, where the scene opens with how you want that movie to open. Yeah. He's snorting coke out yeah. of some model's ass. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. fucking high as shit. Through the you wanted to see him like the Kool Aid Man. You wanted to see him do wild shit, and and <laughs> and that's because that movie was like pro- had other people directing it and involved. Uh, who's just, the other piano guy? Who? What other piano? The guy? other piano. Oh, uh, Ray, Ray Charles. No, no, other white dude. Bo Burnham, white dude. Don't kill yourself. White, uh, <laughs> and he, he played. He plays. He played piano in Vegas as well, and he used Sinatra. To make, no, he used to make do. I think it's called. Uh, it doesn't matter. He used to make dudes. <laughs> it doesn't matter. We trying to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> you know why he made me think about it? I, I, I got you. I got yeah, you. Got you. He used to make dudes get plastic surgery so they could look like. Him. I thought that was Versace. Not, oh, Versace probably did I thought it was like Versace too. used to do that until you. Know, uh, Liberace, you mean? Liberace. Liberace. Liberace oh, used to get. Le, used to make fuck? dudes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fucking get plastic you know, for surgery some reason, on their who face. Who does Liberace, that? Man. Who agrees to that? Yo, and then, <laughs> <laughs> that's the yo, worst bro, part. Yeah. 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 Young, I don't. Yo, what's worse? How purposeless is your life that you like, you know what? I'm going to be another nigga. What? That's what, crazy. But what is no. worse though, the dude that expects people to change their face, or the people that actually go through with it? Nah, it's, it's always a person. Like, nah, they're both just as broken. They're both yeah. just no, no, as. No, no, no. They're unstable. broken. Don't get me wrong. No, no, but no, if you do it, you're the you're, the, you're more you're, the idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. more you, the idiot. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, you are the idiot being manipulated by a total yeah. narcissist. Facts like, for sure. Because he's bored. Look at Liberace. But, but is, hold the picture of Liberace. Is a oh, Liberace? Oh, I love Liberace. He was a Trudy Patootie back in the day, son. He was a he was an icy dude too, man. He was he really was. He's a, he's a swaggy looking motherfucker. Bro. Depending on where he meets them in his life, do they have to match his age at that Oh, point? no, he wanted him to. They but, wanted, <laughs> like, no, no, that's <laughs> funny. But you no, mean a later Liberace? Great. He's like, all right. He wanted you to look like the young Liberace. Liberace. Ew, yeah, he Liberace. didn't even look. Yo, he like Caesar a lot of these white yeah, dudes, actually, they trying to act like, like, nah, he wasn't it. He wasn't, <laughs> he wasn't, he wasn't nah, look it. Look at him. He, he, he got makeup. Yo, any nigga that wears a cape, bro. When you got to do all that, you not it. Yeah, you right. This is from the movie, the one on the right. Go keep going, dude. Imagine you hug this dude. He just wraps his cape around and just <laughs> diddles you or some shit. By the time like that shit is crazy, dude. This this yeah. dude. It's that haircut. Why does Liberace nah, look face, like? Uh, it's definitely his, <laughs> it's his face. Whole I was face, trying to be bro. nice. Yeah, his face. He look kind of like a vampire. He got the, like, yeah, I don't even know. The lipstick yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this like, might be a stretch, uh, but he looks like porn parody version of Danny Tanner. It was Michael Douglas played him in the movie. Michael Douglas played Liberace. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow, that's the perfect person. You got he's, he's a sex addict. Didn't he get cancer in his throat from eating too much pussy? What? Michael Douglas? Michael Douglas. Uh, he did. That's a real so story. Wait, he got canceled? Cancer. Cancer. Oh, cancer. cancer. You can't get canceled right, for eating uh, pussy. No, no way. <laughs> how bad are you eating pussy? <laughs> I heard uh, some shit like he ate out some chick with a yeast infection. Probably. Ew. That and, probably uh, caused an infection he didn't look after. Do you, do you after, think yeah. if you, uh, if uh, like Louis C.K., instead of jerking off, he was just like, hey, can I just eat your pussy? I, 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 even if you're not into it, you can go on your phone, scroll Instagram, but can I just That's eat your pussy? That's a gross pussy? looking dude, though. You do know? you <laughs> think, but still, do you <laughs> think it would be... I, I like Louis C.K. Do you think it would blow up to the same dude. level? Can I tell you That's the kind of thing you got to ask first for, whereas the kind of stuff he did... What he didn't that ask. He You're right. That, that, well, hold, hold, what was consent. it that he allegedly did again? This is what he allegedly did. He asked these girls, can he jerk off in front of them? We're towing a line and right now. I'm not telling a lie. So I'm to- we're towing a line. Oh. Uh, what I'm, line? I know before what I line? speak. I have yeah, to understand yeah. before I speak. Also, there's, uh, the girls wrote an article, if you could pull that up, Nat. But I'm going to uh, say I'm what I know. <laughs> no, no. We're going to do the abridged version. Yeah, yeah. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to do the guy version. Yeah. And so he asked if he could jerk off in front of them. They so said pathetic. yes, and then he did it. He's really pathetic. Now, it's crazy because they have a, a story came out at the same time, a Weinstein story about him blocking the door. Okay. And for some reason, somehow, some way, everybody's, everybody said Louis C.K. will block the door 
so they couldn't get out. In. It got it's blurred in because it's two white dudes. Time. And I was like, that's not what happened. I read the girl's test, not testimony, but the girl's story. He was like, I was there. I was in the closet. Hey, son, I was trying it to get a ride. It didn't go down I was like he said. <laughs> he puts the camera down. That's not true. <laughs> Just goes back to I call bullshit. I can't read that shit. I can't read that shit. I'm going to be honest. I don't care this much about this. I yeah, really yeah, like, yeah, I'm out. Because when you're that famous, there's girls in your price range that specialize in this. Yeah. It's the oldest job in, in, in history. I know. So for you to get be, a map. But it for you to put yourself though. in this position, it don't matter. Yeah, he wasn't that famous. The though. oldest profession is prostitution. Yeah. Yeah. The oldest profession. Yeah. And, and, and the people that I know that have money, there's a high class, you know, the higher you are in pay, the better the girls. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Eastern it was no European. reason, no reason for him to have to, you know, I get it might be a fetish, but look what you put yourself in. It's also fetish and a total love of, a total like lack of, like that's, to that behavior is like actually loser shit. Like, yeah, that's to, some loser shit. That, it's that's loser shit. Get like, you, yeah, you have, you have like you're, you're getting whack. something. Right? Well, but, I don't. But I don't know that worse, nigga childhood trauma. You're still trauma, famous and so. successful. And you're still not getting it. Any like no one's still looking at you like oh like you a gold digger doesn't even want to dig like you're still fucking no one wants to like touch you still you know what I mean? Nah, I think that's this the is vibe. A preference I, thing based yeah. upon whatever childhood or uh, whatever trauma from his past. But your you, whatever trauma that is is like what? How does that lead to begging someone to wa- watch you jack off in a sense? You know what I mean? I don't Instead know. Because I live his experience. To, like like we we we. We always try to place what we would do on somebody else as if they lived how we lived and it's they didn't. Good. And I'm, yeah. so, I'm, saying, I'm so, so guilty of that shit. So I don't, I don't do that no more. Like I try to understand, and then if it's some gross shit, still for me understanding your perspective is some gross shit. But master- like I'm never gonna understand really a pedof- uh, you know, never, yeah, or, or Kelly. I understand some fucked up shit happened to you, Dude. but nigga. Nah, but you know what I'm saying? But, masturbation but nah. is so whack. Bro, but bro. again, I I feel you. But that's you from your perspective. So whack. It's whack. That's dude. from your perspective. <laughs> what does pussy what DC a, get? What a handsome you go with thing to say. I'm hey just, man, you don't think about it, like bro, that shit you, is you're whack. You're touching yourself. But think what about it. Man, There's women that? around, and you're like, still, you know what? Fuck it. No one's gonna uh, let me take him to bed. Let me just. You guys wanna watch me jack off? It's such a like. Just Actually, like, dude, I where disagree. was the? No, no, my wife I, likes to watch me jack off. Like, that's that's like, different. That's different. You're you're gonna have sex with your wife. This yeah. guy is just jacking off in case. You know what I'm saying? He's jacking off. Yeah, as but like we're a, still operating from your perspective of it being. But but whack. The, every guy's perspective on masturbation is the same. Like you only do it really because you've got spoken to. to every guy because mine's contradict yours. Really? You like masturbation? Yeah. Yeah, I'm mother. Really? Was gonna argue? Sometimes you don't like mas- masturbation? I don't. I don't sometimes like it. I do it. Because sometimes I have to, but it's yeah. not a. <laughs> I've never, I've never pictured someone. Yo, no. he be in the dark, like ah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> exactly, bro. I've never. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Tears, use the tears. <laughs> the, tears. <laughs> the, tears. <laughs> the tears is lubricant. Just keep fucking. You ever just wipe the tears? <laughs> <laughs> In the shower, for real, bro. Up in the fetal position. That ah. shit is not. It's not lit, man. That shit. I've never met a dude who sighs like so. jerks you feel off. like a loser. I feel like a loser a little bit. Like, uh, I feel okay. like a loser a little bit. That, that's why. That's why. I, I don't know. Nice to yourself. So, what is programmed you to think jerking off is being a loser? Just like I think jerking off is being convenient. Convenient. It's like that's like hey, the only man, time jerking off is good is when you're about to send a risky text. And you're like, you know, once you get that fucking testosterone shot out, you're like, oh, I don't need to fucking yeah, text yeah, this girl. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? True. You're just like, I don't need to be doing this. It's 12 a.m. Is she, <laughs> is, she, <laughs> is she really a 10 out of 10? Aren't you, yeah. happy, you're Aren't you <laughs> happy you're married, buddy? I'm so glad I'm out the game. How long you been married? <laughs> I'm out the game. How long you been married? Congrats, this is bro. reckless. Yo. Congrats, bro. <laughs> how long you been married, bro? Uh, three years now? A few years? Give or take three years. Three, three years? years? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you guys so been together? Uh, how long you guys together? Fifteen. Before? I'm black, so you okay. know how we do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, since you said since you were fifteen? No, no, I no, said for fifteen. Years. Years. Oh, fifteen years. Okay. Yeah, word. she actually. Um, Damn near fifteen. By the way, I wasn't <laughs> interested in a relationship. Okay. When I when I met her, I was like, yeah. I had been on some dates, and they didn't really understand this comedy thing mm-hmm. when I was um, first huh. starting out. No, no, women do not. You're not even doing. You doing barely open mics. You feel what I'm saying? So I would go on these dates and um. Like, you know, different black chicks, stuff like that. Not just black, Spanish chicks, all types mm-hmm. of chicks. And they was like, oh, yeah, you get paid? I'm like, nah. Yeah. But eventually, and yeah. they was like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. 
So you just out here kiki. And then I ain't like that, so I just keep it moving or something like that. There's also at the time there was no Netflix specials. Yeah. So I was up into her. Five guys. I bump into her randomly. She was mad at her dude on MySpace or some shit. And then friend requested me. And I was trying to get people to a show. I wasn't even trying to pop. I'm like, yo, come through to a show. I need people. Mm. She came through, enjoyed the show. In fact, I didn't even like it. The first thing she said to me was, you better be funny. I was like, bitch. (laughs) That's what they go, yeah. Yeah, who the fuck? (laughs) So we wound up hitting it off. And then like one day she asked, she was like, you want, I was like, look, this come first. Mm -hmm. Like I had the whole spiel with her. I was like, yo, this, this is, I don't got no plan That's why B. I fucked up on my last relationship. Oh, no, nah, I told Well, the, I, I, I just have That's to start doing that right in the beginning. If I get nah. into another relationship, it's like, hey, because my ex was like, well, I just don't know what you love more, the comedy or me. And I'm comedy. like, comedy. Comedy. Just comedy. Just hey, hey, where's the cat? Comedy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every yeah. single time, 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's and comedy. I love my wife. I love my kids. I, I would die for them exactly. in a heartbeat. But- what this does for me, they wouldn't be able to provide. Yeah. And if I didn't have this, they wouldn't like me around. Oh, trust mm. me. Like, yeah. like I know exactly. Yeah, what you like mean this, is, this is this <laughs> is. People don't chi- understand how hard this is. They see us go up there and it's having like, a blast and how fulfilling it, it is for effortless. you. It looks effortless. It yeah. we make it look so effortless, but they don't understand the trauma. The, 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 it being in a dark room, yeah. the doubt, all that, and then fighting through that just to get on that stage yeah. and then get it out, and really wanting to do it. And people, but like they, people say they get it, but then it just you sit there and just like, well, how much time are you gonna spend on a joke? How many times? Are you, you know what I mean? It's just so this it's hard the conversation. To yeah, yeah. So I'm telling her, I'm like, look, this comes first. There's gonna be a time where it's your birthday, and it's gonna be a gig, and I'm gonna pick the gig. And it's not to say that I'm not going to celebrate your birthday, mm-hmm. but I'm picking the gig. Like, I don't have no plan B. What, what was her, like, reaction, it, response? Was she, it? Women are always who they are at the moment. So at the moment, she was like, I get it. Mm. And then it happened, oh. and then she had to accept it, even though she wasn't cool with it. Mm. You then, dig what I'm saying? Because you, you put it on the table already. Exactly. And... and She's literally watched me go from open mic to touring with Eliza Schlesinger to, you know, my own headline and my own joints um, and and just all the blessings I've gotten. Mm -hmm. She's been there for it all. Yeah. When most women was like, eh, I'm out, know. though. This nigga, yeah, fucking, yeah, yeah. this nigga yeah. just performed in the laundry. Yeah. Mat. So, yeah. <laughs> Facts. That's how I it brought is. one chick to this joint in Boston. It was like in a restaurant or some shit. Yeah. And she never spoke to me. Yeah, <laughs> that shit is funny. Never. Never. What's the just, worst thing? What's she the worst? just saw you and all your friends interrupt everybody's meal. Yeah, Man. bro. She saw the look of disgust. Never. What's, what? the, what's the worst show you ever barred? Dude, I invited girls to open mic ones, bro. Couldn't even. There was a few people like I regular find people so sitting. That's bro, but it wasn't. It wasn't because um I wanted to invite. It was yeah. just like let's meet up. I was just like she wanted to see me do comedy. I was like just come here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. some people here who are not comedians, so it'll look like a show. Yeah. And it was and it was cool. Like it was actually for some that day it happened to be like a pretty good okay. open mic. I don't know why, but and the stars aligned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't that bad. But if I I've I've never really I did like starting off comedy, a lot of it was just by myself. So yeah, I didn't yeah, really yeah. I didn't invite a lot of people out. Sometimes people happen to see me out yeah, or something like that, yeah. but I didn't really tell too many uh people to come. I only started when I had to do bringer shows, that's when I started getting girls to Try come to come out. to a yeah, show and yeah. for a bringer. Fucking bringer. Man, just skipped over yeah. the part where he met me, but that's all right. Uh, <laughs> Dude, well, that was him a question. I was talking about you, son. That's so wild. Nah, he's just saying, that's when I started comedy, I, I was doing open mics and I was always by myself. I was. I wasn't. I wasn't, like, was you know, and I always said. And, and then he skipped right to when he started br- doing bringer shows. I, so I was like, I feel like I'm somewhere in the middle. Two and a half, three years of the comedy. And it's funny, I brought that because I was just watching a clip of Chris Rock saying how comedians should spend more time by themselves and stop rolling around in groups so much. I kind of I understand it, I got, but in this time it's a, it's different from like the nineties or well, so whatever different. it is. Well, someone told me recently they go. Um, I was talking to talk with someone and they go, "Well, do you who do you hang out with? You hang out with comics, right?" I go, "Yeah." He goes, "Yeah, stop doing that." Yeah, you hang out too many comics. Yeah, stop hanging out with only comics. Yeah, yeah. Hang out with other free thinkers Why? that aren't comics. Oh, got you. Other free thinkers like other people no, that I understood do the shit. Code. The, nah, yeah. when you said free thinkers, I understood. Yeah. There's only yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I hang out like with because <laughs> you need you need that like. But we we live off experience. Yeah. You feel me? So, mm-hmm. like, you gotta do some regular shit though to fam, get. Yeah, yeah. Some of, some yeah. of our hardest jokes came from me just in regular conversations with people who don't do what, yes. what we do. Like that heaven and hell joke you like. That came from me. I was talking with somebody and I was just like, "Yo, 
yo, what if that shit is whack? Mm -hmm. And then that's how it formed. It came from a real conversation. It came that's, from a that's... real conversation. My mm -hmm. joke about killing my wife came from <laughs> a yeah. real situation. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna tell you something. I might have wanted to kill my wife one day. Not actually, but like she came to the room, we did some shit, and then I wrote a great joke. She doesn't even know. Nah, this she the, don't even the, talk the the joke, her shit right. Now. <laughs> the joke stemmed from <laughs> that's funny. The joke stemmed from her one day coming downstairs and she was like in tears. Like, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the fuck? I like how, yeah, I love how yeah, everything. like like whatever <laughs> it was crazy. Is, it's all it's all here. It's, yeah. it's all here. Hand that shit was just like to... coming down. And I'm like, what's wrong with you? She's like, uh, uh, tree. And I was like, about what? And she's like, hey, tree, my kill you. And I'm like, word. Oh shit! How'd you kill me? I'm like, uh, yeah, you excited? <laughs> yeah, I'm like into it. And she's all, I don't want to talk about it. Jesus. So she wouldn't talk about it. So that made me go, oh, she found a way to kill me and not get away with it. Uh. <laughs> so that's where the joke stemmed from. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so I set the audience up by making them think I'm about to, I'm just shitting. I just want to murder my wife. And it's really because she had a dream, yeah, and yeah, I don't, yeah. I can't have her have that one up on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it just snowballs from there. Oh, Try to go yeah. to sleep and kill her first. Or yeah, fam. Yeah, I don't yeah. want to kill my wife, but also don't want me a loser. You know? Yeah, like <laughs> I, I can't fam. lose this battle. One, one of the lines, I'm like, like I don't even sleep in the same room as my wife anymore. Like I sleep in the really? kids' rooms and I use them as blankets. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, she's going to stab one, but I'm going to save the other yeah, one. Yeah, I yeah. promise you I'm going to save the other one. That's funny. Like, I just, like, this shit Hilarious. is more fun to me now, man. Like, yeah. I, it got I way more fun for me after it. the pandemic, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, same. It got, it got a lot better. Before I was overthinking it, I was changing my material to some weird shit. Yeah. Some, like, a little bit more, like, I don't know, like, just like dorky PC comedy kind of, like, you know, like, yeah, yeah. That, that I would consider, or just... I mean, even if, okay, if PC is you, then fine, whatever. But yeah. it's just, I know it's not me. That's not how I grew up. You know what I'm saying? I went to New York City public school. Growing yeah. up is different. You grew up different. You grew up different, bro. We used to do wild dickhead shit, bro. Like, you know, squeeze baby yeah. oil in the hallway. Yeah. So motherfuckers could bust their yeah. ass up going in the bathroom. Yeah. Throw food at each other at lunch, all that type. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Like, people used to really wild yeah. out. This one dude had shit in a foil paper, and he would just, while he's going down the steps, he would just hold the oh handle. Oh, my and God. Smear the whole shit. Welcome to the hood. Yeah, yeah. bro. Until <laughs> some fucking kid. Is putting his head on the reel and doesn't realize that he yeah. has shit on his palm. It's just like, yeah. people used to and there'll be shit, like bro. 10 dudes on the top of the staircase waiting to come down and yeah. laugh you at know you, son. My, you know what's my favorite? It's, is if you got that kid, like all those kids, and you just put them by themselves in a room, chair, my, a chair here. Yeah, yeah. Just me and you. Yeah. Why'd you do it? They have no re they have no idea nah, why. Nah. You're just trying just to make it. To do. Yeah, school's about to end and you want to watch. Why'd out. you do it? Because you want to make you don't, memory. you don't, you're on autopilot. That's what people don't realize. A lot of us are not present in the moment because we've been we've been programmed to be on this linear time shit that that everything is singular and then and then past is a different thing and then Can nah. I just chime in on something why yeah, you said ahead. why you do that? Because a lot of these schools, these public schools, are, first of all, they're overcrowded. Like nah, crazy. it's not the schools, bro. No, no, I'm not it's, saying it's the school. I'm saying uh if you really think about it, like I know people went to private school, ten kids in a classroom and one teacher, they're from twenty seven students. Who can't really get real attention? There's always going to be a couple of kids that are straying away or doing. Yeah, you know but what I'm that's saying? not that's not a school issue. The overcrowding and what they're doing in the school is a is a side issue. It all stems from home and what's happening there. Yeah. So a lot of the times, kids sure. don't know how to to communicate their feelings, so mm -hmm. they do shit that lashes out and and puts the pain on somebody else. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, you have these bullies beating up somebody because. They getting bullied at home. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? And they just don't know how to, they can't express it no way because yeah. they don't want to look soft or whatever the case may be. Yeah. A lot of this shit all stems from our mental, B. A lot of Jay Z said issues. that the game is mental. What you trying to get into? Mm. It all starts so there. Shut up, DC. Don't you blame the school system? <laughs> I do, though. It yeah, is. The, the school it's system has a role it. in it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah, the yeah. school system's job is to program us to be workers. Yeah. 100%. They don't program us to be bosses. They program us to, to clock in oh, yeah. and clock out. School so that's routine. the school's job. School, school yeah. to get you into a routine. Yeah. yeah. And, and to have you, and to, to first have you um, thinking with the mindset, I have to get a job in order to work at a company. Like I that's where the pro morning, all the early programming starts. There, mm -hmm. my kids are homeschooled. They study. They you know they got chess every morning. Yeah, um, along time? with their studies. Yeah, 
Um, along with their studies, they also do code, um, coding. Yeah. Um, my daughter speaks Japanese and Spanish. My son is Whoa. doing Arabic and Spanish. When, I was ne- homeschooled for five years. Wait, they've never been to. They've never been to. Hold that thought. You don't want you to keep it. You, they've never been to regular school. No, they have. But and we, then we took them out. When? At what age? Like when? How long ago? So I'm just. This curious. happened last, like just before the pandemic. But you we guys made a conscious decision, like, hey, yeah, yeah. You this knew- is before the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. Oh, your, what was your wife's? How how did she feel? Did you, I'm, I'm assuming Fine you brought it. it up. But did you bring Me it up? Me and my wife are partners. You know how you watch TV and it's like, oh, I'm, the man is scared of his wife. Nah. Uh, first of all, that should never exist. Yeah, it should never world. exist. But my wife and me are like, like you this. You gotta be. Like, yeah. this is how we can be. I don't, I'm not bigger than her and she's not bigger than me. In certain situations, she's gonna be more informative. You take the role. Mm-hmm. Certain situations, it's me. I take the role. Mm. But that's how we operate. It took us a while to get there. It wasn't always that. Yeah. But when we got there, this is what it is. So any decision we make is based upon we agreed and we spoke about it, and then this is the best course of action. Mm-hmm. James fucked me up once. Uh, we we're, uh, were having a conversation, like we always do. And he, I go, well, I just, I just me and my garage hate arguing. So I, I just try to avoid it at all costs. And James you hate go, arguing, really? I hate arguing. With me and my girl, like, because also my parents, I hate that arguing shit where I'm like, what do we, especially when it's over dumb stuff, like over like, you forgot my the, the date of my birthday, and like we're just arguing mm-hmm. about that. I'm like, what are we doing? There's bigger things at stake here. And then you told me, you go, well, you have to argue because arguing means like if you're not arguing, then there's something there. It's like, all right, obviously there's something there. Figure what, figure out what it is. Yeah, like we don't know how to communicate to each other. Like it took me a long time to be able to tell my wife, yo, I don't feel like talking right now because mm-hmm. I That's was a afraid. That's a big fucking deal. Because I was yeah. afraid how she would be affected yeah. by me not wanting to talk, even though mentally I'm not there to communicate. You want to get your you words what together. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I can't give you 100% of what you would like, and I don't want to bullshit you, mm-hmm. but at the same time, I don't want to hurt your feelings. Like, that's what we all kind of deal yeah, with. Yeah. Now, I, I put me before others. Mm. So it's like, if I know I'm not there, I tell her, like, I'm not there. I need some space. And she goes, I understand. It's not about right. you. It's I about love me. you. Me. And then she goes upstairs, or she gives me that space. Like, it took us a while to get there, and she does the same thing. Like, yo... I just need some time. Mm-hmm. Da, da, da. I I'll go do something else and whatever, whatever. And and that's been more healthy for us than me not saying nothing and then holding it in. Mm-hmm. And, and then something small happened, like, like a birthday conversation. And now it's a bunch of shit. Yeah. You and then yeah. and mother and then <laughs> last week it was like, oh, what I are we even fighting about? The birthday. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So you gotta communicate, man. It's just that people need to learn how to just get to the shits. Like you I don't, know, I don't, I, I don't dance sh- on it. Yo, yeah. James, what? I love your fucking shirt, bro. Thank you, bro. What to, size? I got you. Uh, XL. I got you. I had to lose my mind to find my soul. Yeah, on God. That's some I real shit that. right there, bro. Yeah. She let me know that I would, I would have just sent you money to bring in three t-shirts for the podcast. Nah, I got you, man. I got y'all. Like, I like. Actually, literally, know, that's what happened. Like, I almost died. What you mean? Literally, I almost killed myself, bro. Oh shit! Oh, wow, like really? all. Fam, you I was I having a mental breakdown two years prior. Really? Like, you wasn't even on the scene yet. No. That's why it was- well, Early, early, but not Yeah, like, but not, not, not real to scene. the magnitude not of where scene. you at now. Yeah. Like, so, I want to say, when, whenever the pandemic was, a year before that, I was just having a mental breakdown. So, yeah. March 2018. Like, just, I wasn't- 2019. Yeah, around that time. So, I'm like- I'm mentally talking negative to myself. I'm mentally telling myself I want to die. I'm mentally telling myself I want to be here. I'm hurting. I don't know why I'm hurting. I have regrets. I don't know why I'm having all these regrets. It wasn't like I was a malicious person in my Mm -hmm. life, but it just felt like the weight of everything in my life was just coming at me at once, and I couldn't mentally handle Mm -hmm. all the thoughts that were coming at me. It was Mm -hmm. like... This and then you're fat and then that and that and it was just all just attacking me and it got to the point that a couple of times I attempted. Wow, Damn. I attempted, and then due to the grace of uh, of God, you know, it didn't it didn't fall through. And then at some point, I realized I was like, if I like, I got two choices: I could either off myself and be done with it, or I could just figure out <coughs> each issue one by one and then see if I can stay here long enough to affect my kids in a more positive way, because mm-hmm. I feel like if I would have left, I didn't teach them enough mm-hmm. for them to survive. And that's what kept me here. You know what I'm saying? Too. My kids and my wife and knowing 
the magnitude of me not being there would affect them. So I fought. And I just mentally just started trying to figure out what was going on. So with the weight, I just focused. I was like, I'm, I'm going to drop this weight. I don't know how I'm going to drop it, but I'm just do shit until I drop it. And then it was another thing. I was like, I, I don't feel like I'm educated enough. I got to I gotta start. I, I was big. I was like 270. What? what? Yeah, yeah, at my heaviest. Holy shit. How much do you what? weigh now? 160, 165, but I don't I shred it. Even... By the way, I, I said it to James. I saw him one day. <laughs> you show, you, I know you know what I'm talking about. He yeah. shows up, and I go, by the way, on some no homo shit. What the <laughs> fuck, James? No homo shit. Bro, what? I go, look, because he posted a picture. He oh, posted a picture okay. yeah, 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 yeah. of him just, just <sighs> selfie, ripped. whatever. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 not, not ripped. You have a picture? If you took a piece of fucking sculpting clay. Yeah, it, and just, I think you told me this. It looked like I did the whole, like, pandemic in Wakanda. <laughs> like, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Think oh God! Think oh God! And I'm 42. When this man takes his shirt off, you hear the I'm 42. Yeah, is 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 different. Right now, I'm on my weight loss journey again. Fam, it's all mental. It's hard. Nah, it's all. Huh? It is hard. It's hard. It is hard. It's hard. But but when you conquer it, bro, it's gonna help you comedically and everything else. It already has. I yeah. see the difference. You see the difference. See like the, your I confidence goes it's up. Different. Like yeah, your energy goes yeah. up. And like, I feel fam. like what I'm what I'm saying, people take more serious. Cause I was I was in, I was writing this bit about like cause I do this bit about being uh, getting my dicks out after losing some weight. Yeah, 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 yeah. But like not losing enough weight, and I still got titties. Right. <laughs> so like I remember that section. I was there. I was, there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I dropped all this weight, but I still like got I, boobs. Yeah, what the yeah. fuck? <laughs> so, so um, I looked down and saw two. And I, 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 this never worked. It never worked on stage, so I, I try. I don't really do it as much, but um. It was like, I also wanted to lose the weight because I would be on stage. It's like, you don't want to hear a fat guy telling you advice about life. Yeah. Because this yeah. guy's not, the first thing you see is like, oh, this guy didn't take his life that serious. <laughs> Hold up, this didn't work? No, because people just looked sad. <laughs> they feel bad for you. They don't want yeah, to Yeah, they felt bad. I, I, I didn't, I got to no, make it funny. I, I yo, think, I think what after, it, the, after this, yeah. we're trading numbers. Okay. I would, I would like, maybe I can hear something that, you didn't catch, and I can offer help on bet, that because yeah, I like the premise. We've been, we've been in the. I like the premise. The premise of 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 wanting to lose the weight, of course, for yourself, but also because nobody's gonna take life lessons from a motherfucker who's fat. Like nigga, you don't look yeah, like you yeah, got yeah. the shit together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I don't I don't think I've heard that perspective. Let me tell you about the world, man. You're shaped like the world. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. That's a good, exactly. That's a good time. Exactly. Oh man, yo, yo can we? Because uh, I, I do want. Cause we're fifty two minutes in, James. Oh yeah, we can, can we? It. We gotta do some plugs. We oh, have okay. to do plugs. Okay. We plug gotta it. hit that. I thought he was. He's still talking about Nicki Minaj. No, no, yeah, we, I do we, want we are. But we gotta. Let's, we'll end and we'll glide off on that. Oh shit! I forgot we got plug music now. I love oh, this it. I love like Freddie Gibbs. Sure. That's exactly what I looked up because we in the Freddie Gibbs season. Yo, I, listen, Freddie Gibbs needs his flowers. He needs his. He's gonna get his flowers. Freddie oh. Gibbs is fire, bro. He's oh, he been is, getting he's his good, flowers. Good, no, I, as a recent, what I'm saying is, he's about when, to make some. When you ask people like, you know, who's your top ten, whatever, when someone who's Freddie Gibbs is not anyone's. Auto rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't mind. mind. But now he is. Mind. Now he is. Mind. I've been bumping that gangster grills. Yeah, yo, I just got under Freddie Gibbs this year. Is uh, the, I nah, do the dope. Anyway, bro, bro. James, that this comes grill. out September 26th, Sunday at 11. Okay. If you got shit, some shit, some shows coming out, some okay. stuff to do. Plug your all, plug all your shit right now. Um, you can find all my dates on JamesGolf.me. That's the last thing about me. Um, everything on there. Um, got some dates coming up with the bestie Gina Brion. She was in the finals of um, AGT. We got DC coming up New Year's. I know, actually, October first and second. Catch me in Denver. We're gonna be fucking high as fuck. Yeah, you did post some Denver shit. So Comedy works. Got, yeah. Yo, no, nah, no. Nah, we doing um improv. Let's go. Improv. Yeah, it's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be so fucking high. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, we're gonna be. Oh, Yo, gonna are you an first. edible man? Nah, I'm. Yeah. A, I, nah, I'm I'll, a... I'll do an edible. But I need a joint, yo. I love it. I'm a joint I guy a too. Joint, I like man. I like my bats, bro. Oh, uh, and I'm gonna <laughs> ride, put some Nipsey on in a nice joint, bro. Oh, <laughs> oh man, you can't, Maybe you can't convince me that an edible is ever better than just yeah. smoking with the homie. Like, oh no, 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 no. There's, there's very few things that's better than smoking with the homies. Yeah, like I just unless it's this? mushrooms. Oh yeah, I can yeah. do mushrooms. I can do mushrooms by do myself. Mushrooms. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. with people. You can't just offer a completely different meal and be like, but <laughs> that's like being like, hey man, you got some spaghetti and meatballs and then it's flaming mignon. Yeah, I think you know, I'm gonna do I'm some mushrooms, mushrooms today. Yo. Yo, I got a mushroom did chocolate you, bar. Did you get some uh, today? I think I'm gonna do some today. I need to um I need I to like, leave dude, Earth. I feel like I need yeah. to do something. You know 
That sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Doing shrooms <laughs> after this, guys? No. I think we're going to do some chocolate shrooms. <laughs> Kev, tell them where to find you. Uh, you can find me at It's Kevin Sanchez on Instagram, Papa Sanchez on Twitter, and Ooh, my Papa other podcast. Yeah. <laughs> that's hard. That's hard. That's that's Sanchez call, is hard. That's what they call me in the army. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then my other podcast was the great Josh Pallet, The Mac Almanac. Ooh. DC Ooh. Williams, tell them to find you. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at DC Does It. The DC. official, unofficial third mic of this podcast. Gosh. The official, unofficial third Catch mic of this podcast. Catch me not masturbating in my house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. With You're the lights off. There and you don't like losers. With the lights off, man. <laughs> um, yeah, so DC, D-U-Z-Z-I-T-T. -T. DC I will not be masturbating at, in my house. That's... um. <laughs> And I got no plugs for you because uh, bookers hate me. So no, nah, no, I'm man. kidding. No, I'm kidding. They're I'm coming. kidding. The blessings I'm are coming. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Y'all called DC on a sad day, but, but yo, we got him there. That's why the great James Goff was. Here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. I love you guys. Whoever, whatever weirdos are listening. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're already at my page, Dylan J Negri. Give it a subscribe. Make sure to like, comment, say some dumb shit. But more importantly, make sure to come see us on the road. It's doped up comedy. We got the mm -hmm. podcast. We got the comedy shows. Mm -hmm. In October, we got the Saturday shows coming up, and we got. Mm -hmm. Thursday pizza show coming up in Brooklyn. So Ooh. we're in Brooklyn, we're in Manhattan, and you already know we got amazing comics mm -hmm. yeah. on the show, on the podcast. It's Everyone's everywhere. invited, non binary, him, uh, shim, her, zen, yeah. zing, all that yep, shit, yep, man. Yep, yep. And we got, a, we got a pizzeria where, like, if you, if you, uh, if you follow that Nicki Minaj logic, uh, <laughs> come through, baby. <laughs> all right, what is so, this thing? So that? tell me, nah, nah, I gotta what tell you happened? something. Like, what happened? Happened? What happened? He I'll, must have came up with a good take on this shit. I would have heard. Nah, I don't have a good. Honest, this is my only good take. Yeah. This is my take. I don't, I don't have good. a good take. <laughs> I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. Pulls a paper out. <laughs> but I'm tired of like us having to follow an agenda. Yeah, right? I'm tired I'm of people pushing it. Pushing right? agendas, and it's like, yo, people can't have a. You can't question anything. Yeah, yeah. We're just supposed to follow. How did that happen? We never used to trust yeah, the government. Yeah, yeah. We never used to trust the government. Yeah. How did this happen? We didn't trust it with Trump. We barely trusted it with Obama. And we definitely didn't trust it with Bill. We didn't trust it with Bush. Yeah. We never trust. And now we're gonna listen to this Biden. Yeah, because they because they told us it's it's like when like like when you like that joke you talk about giving advice to white people or like yeah. it's like you you've been telling white people certain things for years about America and, and society. Yeah, if you don't know what's popping now, that's all you. Right, son. but but. So, but hold on, just a quick, we tell them all that, and now, now that in the past like five, six years, it feels like now that they believe it, now they're like, now I feel like people are telling you you need to hate Trump now. It's like, don't, don't, or this and that, or you need to vote for Bernie, or else you're for this guy. And it's just like, dude, all this shit y'all talk about, we've been saying this shit for years. All the distrust with the government, all this the race, whatever it is, and now that it's beneficial to you guys, to your agenda that you're pushing to Hollywood, whatever it is. Now you now you want us to it's like when something racist happened, the white person is trying to activate me. Why aren't you doing anything? Nigga, what are you now? You is not I shouldn't have to stop racism. I'm black, dude. You <laughs> you white white people should be trying to stop racism. Now, that's a now, that's I wanna go, I wanna, I wanna go back to this. Hold on, let's go back to Nikki yeah, real yeah. quick. What is she? Can saying? we pull up a tweet, please? What so, did Nikki do? Nikki Nikki Minaj put out a tweet. Now, this just honestly, if she wasn't famous or as famous as she is. This would be water under the bridge. It sounds like she just got a call from back home and she put the gossip online. That's all it sounds like, right? Can, can we pull up the, the tweet? There we go. My cousin in Trinidad in? won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. His testicles became swollen. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl called off the wedding. So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision. And not get bullied. Can I say one thing right now? I just saw the story. Just read the story for the first time. I'll tell you right now, Nikki, uh, that dude cheated on your uh, That's very on true. your on your cousin. By the way, very that, true. that girl cheat. <laughs> that dude cheated on your cousin, yeah. and when he came home with a swollen dick, yeah. she was like, "Why the fuck you got a swollen dick?" He was like, "Oh, baby, I got the vaccine." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo, this shit happened, and something. then That's she right. called you, Nikki, and then you are stupid. So you tweeted it, not knowing I that stupid. your girl's I man. Part. Cheated. So now this whole thing's blowing up, this and this true, dude's right? back in the lab. No, just this like, was the fr this. Was, uh, the, her cousin was friends with the dude who claimed this, so he he was like, "No, would you believe this? Yeah, my my girlfriend broke up with me. Would you believe it, man?" And then the guy told told now, Nikki about now, it. Now here's the thing, though. Wait, did that? Uh, well, he just said true. Did that really happen? No. Oh no. It no, is no. if you take it that well, way. Okay. Yeah. They said this on another podcast. It's as true. It's as true as her hearing that he the got the landing. vaccine. Why don't you think that's true? For what I understand, yeah. And because we're all over the place with this. From yes, what I are. understand, there was a series of tweets. It wasn't just that one. Mm -hmm. But one of the things was, she was like, I'm still doing my research. 
Um, and basically just saying, hey, you know, don't feel like you got to be bullied into a decision because I think something at the Mac Gala Sunday was like, you got to have the shot. And she was like, I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a shot until I get I don't give a fuck about the gal. I gotta get more information before I'm comfortable mm. with it. Yeah. Right. And then that Super was like logical. the third tweet out of the first from the first two or whatever. Okay. So basically saying she heard from a cousin in Trinidad that this was the situation and like she said at the end of the, the tweet, you know, I don't want nobody to be bullied, just make sure that you're comfortable with your decision. So this is not her saying get the shot or don't get the shot, but this is her exactly. saying Make sure you have all the information. That's all you now, what we have kids. in this country mm-hmm. is that we have a system of people, a small percentage of people that are in power. It's not politicians. It's a bunch of rich motherfuckers with old money that are really making decisions. And when they don't like something that's being said, they also control media. There's only like five billionaires that control all the media. Yeah, All the media. Like five motherfuckers, give or take. And when they make a decision that you are affecting what they're trying to get done, it's a full court blitz. What you seen is a full court blitz on a black woman. So what happened to her as a result of her tweeting that? Nothing, Nothing has happened to okay, her. Okay, and nothing's okay. going to happen. Because she, like, the thing with Nikki is that she's been through shit in the industry that's prepared her for situations like this. Yeah. So this ain't affecting her mentally. Mm-hmm. From what I understand, she's going to the White House and she's going to have her questions and yada, 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 try to get information, meet with Dr. Fossey, whatever. It's led to that. Which mm-hmm. is good. Which is cool. Um, but I mean, I'm like not, I said, man, you... you. I'm not jacking it, but... You have <laughs> to have... No, you're literally You have to do... It. I don't understand how motherfuckers trust niggas they don't know. I don't trust... Like... There's people on my block I've known for years <laughs> that I don't fucking trust. <laughs> and then a nigga go on a on a on a campaign trail for like six months yeah. and y'all act like y'all besties. Yeah. Like he's, like he's old did you cute. know you can literally lie on a campaign trail and yeah. you can't be sued? Yeah. You yeah. can't be sued. Yeah. yeah. You can say whatever you want. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, and you cannot be held liable. Same Motherfuckers with- don't even know that. Yeah. I hate that. It's they like, don't know. They don't know that, crazy. bro. Oh. They don't know that there's a book called How to Lie with Statistics, and on the cover of the book is Bill Gates saying you should read this book. <laughs> Even in the book, he has a whole section on vaccines. Really? Are you fucking yeah. shitting me? The nigga who made Windows, yeah. right? Microsoft Windows that always got a fucking virus. <laughs> always. Always got a virus. <laughs> he does. Always. That's all all, that not has, some bro. of the time. <laughs> not maybe. You can't even all the fucking program. time. <laughs> you one of the smartest men in the fucking world and you cannot pr- fucking Put up come a up firewall. With like a firewall? Like a firewall? <laughs> like, like these, we're trusting individuals that do not have our best That's, interest yeah, in hand. I agree with that. Right now, you have, that. The, you have the president trying to force the FDA to make a decision on some shit the they don't have shot. enough information, information on. on. Two people left because they were being forced. And I mean, just now, they just said, yo, we're not okay in this until we get more information. We don't even think the booster is needed. Booster is it? Like, the, the, this virus is like a new iPhone, bro. You got to update it. Damn. Like, <laughs> you shit comes I out. I watched <laughs> Dr. Fauci. On the stand, yeah. double speak his way out of asking, uh, answering questions from Ryan, from, from Ryan Paul. And then I watch Twitter react as if Ryan Paul is the fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, 100%. He's like, yo, I got this paperwork that says you guys made this shit and then lab. gave it to fucking China mm-hmm. and then it somehow came out. Yeah, and they'll still be like, what's your news source though? And it, I it's... watched this dude double speak his way out. One of the things they do is where they just do a bunch of run on sentences. Oh, yeah. mm-hmm. But in that, they, sometimes they slip up. And in this particular situation, he was like, oh, and every six months you have to get the shot. <laughs> what? And that was before they even mentioned that. Yeah, I remember that. And they're People like... are lining yeah. up and there's not enough information to say if it works or it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And then every week, they got a new flavor Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't work Fact. with the vaccine you took. Them so like why totally. are you taking it? I took, I, t- I got the vax, right? And I regret it. Yeah. I regret it. I regret it every day. Every time I show my vax card, I feel like a little bitch. <laughs> every, time, every time some little white girl from Brooklyn, like, do you have your vax card yeah, and your yeah. ID? I, went, yeah, I go to yeah. a restaurant every week mm-hmm. for lunch. 
Because we at out least here. once a week. Because we right? out here. I go. <laughs> I go to this one restaurant. I get my uh, my rotisserie <laughs> chicken. <laughs> my rotisserie chicken. Yeah. And my rotisserie potatoes yeah, yeah. with some That's broccoli. Good. It's beautiful. That sounds good. I, I have to s- a spot in the Bronx. Let's go. Yeah. I go every week. This girl sees me every goddamn week. She asked me for the first time today, "Can I see your Vax card?" And I showed her my Vax card, and she goes, "Also your ID." I'm saying, "Son, you know my That's name." Time. Yeah. You see me every week. Yeah. How the fuck? And, and, and I know something You're so small. You're talking to robots, B. Yeah. It's yeah, fucking robots, B. Yeah. She's, She's just gotta, going. She's this just whole listening. system yeah. is is set up to have us constantly yeah. in fight or flight. Yeah. And when you're constantly in fight or flight from external forces, what happens is you can't think straight. Mm-hmm. Anytime you've been fucking pissed off, sad, or whatever, have you been able to make an informed decision? No, not true. And that's what the fuck yeah. they doing. Yeah. Every time you watch the news, these motherfuckers is telling you how the world is fucking mm-hmm. on fire. They yeah. tell you what to fear the next. The world is yep. on fire. <laughs> yep. And then how you are not supposed to take that negative energy and absorb that? Mm-hmm. Now was- you living in constant fear of the boogeyman and mm-hmm. all this and this and that, this, and then they just keep taking liberties. But then they keep put taking her liberties. Fear of losing her job, job for making yeah. sure that people, yeah. like, people I, that yeah, aren't and vaxxed. I, and I got the vax only yeah, yeah. because like, I, I, I'm obsessed with I got the shut up yeah, shot. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. it. Yeah, I, I got, got the, the shut listen, up. Listen, I'm going to tell y'all right now, I'm willing to die. Yeah, we got to wrap up. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I like, look, stuff. I'm willing to die before I put that shit in me. Mm. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> on, on God, they gonna have to. They gonna have to yeah. shove that shit. Apparently, in natural me. immunity means nothing. You can't even use the hashtag. Fair. You know, you can't. When use the you hashtag look up what a vaccine is supposed really? to yeah, do, you can't use it's it. a, they put the virus in yeah, you yeah. in yeah. order for you to to, to fight. It. It, yeah. They're basically trying to do what the body already does. Yeah. Yeah. What people need to do is look up who Doctor Sebi is. I know Doctor Sebi. This dude was on trial twice. For saying uh, he could but cure everything. Why would every we disease? listen to Dr. Sebi though? He's not supported by Big Pharma. He's yeah, not backed by the go. FDA. He's go. not. There who is go. this guy? <laughs> Don't even get me about? started on Rockefeller. <laughs> No. Rockefeller oh, brought cancer to us. That's a whole other podcast that's a, that's right there. I like that. Yeah, I like where we're going. You know what though? I'm you know with what, the though? shit. Hey, hey, James. You know what I'm that means? I'm with the shit. You know what that means? What up? You got to come back to the pod. Yeah, yeah part two, know. bro. James. We got to have a James Gunn part two. Oh, God. God. James, oh, God. For sure. James, thanks for coming through. Thanks, thanks, thanks for, for dropping through. the knowledge. Thanks for always just being always, your genuine, man. absolute self. Yeah. DC Williams, Kevin Sanchez, I'm Dale Negger. This is Doped Up and Dying. We'll see you next week. Peace, God. Peace. Back to the black Snoop Doggy Dog, monkey at the 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 dot went solo.